you've just seen your team win the FA Cup for the very first time. How does it feel? Fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. Out of the world, Speechless. to be honest. It hasn't really sunk in yet. I think that will happen tomorrow when we see it on Match of the Day and in the newspapers. And at the moment, it's still a bit surreal, to be honest. Now, you won the league five years ago, which is obviously a bigger prize, but there's certain, given Leicester's unwanted record of losing finals here, a bit, something a bit special about I today. Think this is the one, because this is the one we haven't got yet. Like, we had the League Cup, we had uh, League One, Championship, the Premier League. But domestically, this is the last one for us to tick off the box. So next is the Champions League, really. <laughs> when Chilemans picked up the ball, were you thinking, don't shoot, you're wasting your time? Shoot, 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 shoot. 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 Yeah. Tillemans has that in his bag. And when he gets it perfectly like he did for that shot, it's going top bins every time. And where we were, we could see the space open up in front of him. And it was just, yeah, the way it just cut. Boy. It had the, to be the him The angle though. we had was yeah. brilliant. You saw all the curve of the ball, it was amazing. So we all know about COVID and six feet of distance, all that, but did you hug when he scored? Well, See, we, yeah, we we're brothers, so we can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but did you hug anyone else, not in your bubble? Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Now, obviously, um, very well-known fan Gary Lineker, who it was shown on television, he was dancing about like a wee boy. <laughs> what? I mean, are you expecting him to be sober when he presents the match of the day tonight? No. No. <laughs> I don't I'd think be, any Leicester fan's going to be, be sober tonight. I'd be slightly ashamed if he was sober. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I got a bigger question. You lost your owner a wee while back, and Leicester is yeah, not one boss, of the... the yeah, boss. I see that. I was going to pay attention to that. Leicester's not one of the big six, so in a kind of way you were doing it for fans of other teams outside the big six. Did you feel any of that coming into the game? I felt that we are the big six. We're part of that. Yeah. Look at our look at our history now. We're our part of the big six. I don't care about the greedy six. They ain't part of football. My eyes. Yeah, they're the greedy six. They're not the big six yeah, anymore. They're the greedy if it six. was the big six, it'd be based on success in recent years. And you look at the clubs that try to get into the Super League, it's like, we can't do it on the pitch, we'll buy our way into it. Look at what Leicester are doing. We're shitting just, ourselves. Let's pay quick. Let's do it that way. Just but, look at Chelsea. It's supposed to be European Super League, two FA Cup finals in a row they've lost. Tell me that's European Super League but level. I do feel like Leicester is like everyone's second team. Like if they're not, if Leicester aren't playing your team, you want us to win because everyone's seen that we've done it without big money. We've, obviously, we spent money, but sensibly, with we're a family club. The way that the owners treat us, like look at a bag full of stuff for free. We get donuts. Can I see it in the bag? Can you show yeah. me? See what, what you got. Yeah. So from the club, we got a nice little hat. We got a scarf. We got what else? We do? Yeah, we got the scar. We got all sorts of little gifts, just little things. And then, when it was when it was the chairman's birthday, we would get a beer on the club, or a bottle of water, or a donut. At Christmas, we get a crispy creme, or little things like for his 50th birthday, he gave away 50 season tickets to the fans. So, like for us, I feel like everyone sees how we're run and what we're about, and all clubs want to be run like Leicester are. So you feel in some ways a lot closer to your owner than fans of other clubs? Yeah, a lot it's closer. Not even just that. You wouldn't see Leicester fans trying to stop a game of football, let's put it that way. Our, our owners are the role model. We talk shite, yeah. So we just won the FA Cup, 